three and two. High fly ball to center, and that ball's hit. Upton going back. Back to the wall. Home run. No, he pulled it back. He took it right off the wall. The throw back to first, a double play. Oh, my. Melvin Upton has hit a home run and has now stolen one. Now the 2-2. A swing and a pop-up. Perez, Santana, Santana makes the catch. Ball game. The Indians have won the American League pennant. And Cleveland, for the sixth time ever, you will have a World Series. The Indians are the champions of the American League. High fly ball, right center field. Marisnik back to the triangle, long, long, long. is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game four of the World Series between the New York Mets and the Boston Red Sox. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on MLB Network. season is officially in full swing lineups and first pitch coming up next back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci and now your 2017 Boston Red Sox. And briefly here, a glance at the two starters who will get the ball here in this one. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, Matty, I've been very impressed with as Drubal Cabrera. You can bet the opposition spent a decent amount of time crafting a game plan to stop this guy because as he goes, so goes the team. You stop him, you've got a chance to win. You don't, you're probably going to lose. Drew Pomerantz will look to keep their World Series hopes alive on the mound. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, he's got four pitches to work with and uses them all at all different times in the game. So he keeps hitters off balance and gives you a lot to think about. All right, time for a majestic defensive alignment for the Red Sox. And I'm looking out there at second base. Dustin Pedroia, you talk about a gold glove, gritty player. That fits him perfect. He's going to catch everything at second. He's gold glove worthy. And then gritty, don't hit him. He'll knock you back. One and one, here it comes. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Good night for scarves and mittens. It's 48 degrees here at first pitch. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Now he did well to get a piece that time and it'll stay two and two. Here's another two two. Again he sends it out of play.
Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is gone to open up the ball game. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera in prior matchups against Drew Pomerantz. He's two for four. Outside with the fastball as the count moves to two and one now. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Working the plate is Carl Dixon. Well, Matt, the interesting thing about Carl, look, pitchers struggle with balls on the corner. They don't like that he makes them throw the ball in the middle of the plate sometimes. But he will call that high pitch. So watch him attack the high pitch and try to get that strike. And Cabrera is going to have himself a base hit. Well, for a switch hitter to take the pitch and hit it the other way, whether it's a fastball, changeup, or curveball, right that is a lot 30. of work and dedication Michael from both sides Montorto. of the plate. Runner at first here, one man out. Very weakly on the ground. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. Again, a one two. And the changeup is way low that time. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. Runners on first with one down. Grounded to first. Moreland's there. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. One hit in the inning, but that gets erased. And now the Red Sox get their turn. No score. With that, here's how the hometown Red Sox line up in this one. HR, what are they going to have to focus on to try to win this one and stay alive? Well, Matt, facing a sinker baller, you got to think about get the ball up. What happens with the guy that throws a sinker? When you get it up, it straightens out. But when he's got that ball that starts about thigh high and starts to bite down on you, that's going to end up in the dirt. You're probably not going to be able to do anything with it. You go to the plate with the mindset of get that ball up. You set your focus on making bring that to the thigh high or up, and you got a chance to hit it when it straightens out. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And in the outfield, Michael Conforto, he's had to learn how to play on the corners. He was a center fielder in college, but now playing on the corners, he's had to learn all the angles. But it looked like he caught on quick. now to Pedroia. Hard hit ball to second. And this will get through into right and he's aboard with a single. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out the first. Well they're having a good night so far. The pitcher threw a scoreless top of the first and now he leads off with the single. This is the recipe you want. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. 
And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't Batting used it third. yet in this at bat, and what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. Here's the 3 1. There's a changeup over the outside corner. Runner at first here, one man out. Hit to third. Played on the backhand to Cabrera for one. On to first, not in time as the umpire was right there to make the call. Well, he showed right there, White. He's such a tough guy to double up. He can fly, and he busted it down the line, so they just get the one out. Here's the left fielder, Hanley Ramirez. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. There's that little sinker right over the outside corner. A runner on first with two away. Runners on the move for second. Pitch outside. The throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. So he swipes second successfully, but you have to wonder now if that might actually end up taking the bat out of the hands of one of their better hitters. Well, that's a good point, Matt, but I'd be a little surprised if that's the case. It's still early, and the game is tied, so that would be a pretty cautious move to pitch around him here or just walk him flat out. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Red Sox leave one, and this is still a nothing-nothing ballgame. Here's your one to Cespedes. They'll get us started in the top of the second. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Takes a knee high fastball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And now pitch on the way. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. Waiting in the on deck circle is David Wright. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger ten. like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really right. hurt you. Digging in, David Wright. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. And this one's in the dirt. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Let's turn two. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. Well, he walked the first batter to the inning. Now he finds himself down three one count. I tell you what, he's in danger right here. Got to throw strikes and get back in this thing because walking and bad counts adds up to a big inning for the offense. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Wow, you know he's not happy with that Having call. Went across the plate, it First sure looked like a strike four. to me. Seemed Wilmer. to catch a ton Wilmer. of the plate. That's a tough way to give up a walk, but he's got to put it behind him now. Into the box, Wilmer Flores. 2-2 two, two is a changeup that misses 3-2. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0-2 to work the count back to 3-2. And, and he's seen a lot of pitches, too.
Here comes the payoff pitch. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Young is there. He makes the catch, and tagging is the runner from second. The relay, and he'll get into third here on the flyout, so he's 90 feet away here with one gone. Good read there at second base to know he could make it to third on the flyout. Now he's only 90 feet away with one out. Coming to the plate now, Travis Darno, and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Here it comes, 0-2. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Ready with another 0 2. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. One two is an off speed pitch, no dice, it's two and two. No score here as we play inning number two. Breaking pitch and this bounces in front of the catcher. Wow, from 0-2 to 3-2 and and that last pitch on 2-2 two and two wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. Swing and a little blooper to center. Young coming on. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. And he's not even going to consider it here as he holds tight at third with two away now. Batting eight. Designated hitter, Brandon Nimmo. So coming to the plate, Brandon Nimmo. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Looks at a curveball called for a strike. That's a high strike on a curveball right there. If he continues to throw that pitch, we won't be mentioning his name very much longer in this game. He's going to have to get that ball down to be effective. Runners at the corners, two men out. Trey going to miss it. A big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. A couple of walks, but no damage. Through an inning and a half, no score on MLB Network. So digging in now, Mitch Moreland. He'll lead it off against Steven Matz. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And this will find the wall out near the visitor's bullpen. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Let's take another look at just a textbook swing right there. Good weight transfer, good hands to the ball, solid contact, and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera guys as well. Here's Chris Young. Lifetime numbers against Steven Matz. He's one for two. And the pitch on two and one. Looks at a changeup right over the middle. Well, that changeup right there sets up a lot of things. Now the count's two and two. He can come back in with a fastball, and it's going to look like it's moving a little bit better. Or he can go back to that changeup. All even at two and two. Here it is. Drilled right back up the middle. And a flip to first from Cabrera in time for the first down. And this is not an easy play where you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Stepping in now, Rusne Castillo takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Now that's not fair. You're supposed to be throwing sinkers, and he throws a high fastball right there. That's why everybody's shaking their head. Working for the punch out and the offering. Grounded back up the middle. Right there is Reyes. 
Only play is going to be at first, so that will go as an RBI that brings home the opening marker of the ball game. Good manufactured run right there. Lead off double, move him over with the ground ball, and just put the ball in play and let him come home. Make scoring runs look easier than it actually is. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A swing and a miss at the good old Uncle Charlie. One and two, here it comes. And a curveball that time that broke too low. He executed that one two curveball pretty well. I think it's right where he wanted it to end up, but he couldn't get him to chase at it. We'll see what they go with now after that didn't work out. And here's a ball hit in the air. Here comes Cespedes. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Well, that's a perfect example of taking a ball inside out. You know, you hear that terminology, stay inside the ball right there. He took the ball inside and shot it the other way for the base hit. Standing in now, Sandy Leon. In the dirt here. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Well, the intent there with that two strike pitch was obviously to get him to fish for something he couldn't do a whole lot with. But there's the risk that comes with that as well. If you don't execute or your catcher can't handle it very well, you give up three bases. Here's the one and two. And this is pop fouled off to the right and back into the seats. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Cabrera's up with it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Back with more of Game 4 on MLB Network right after this. Coming to the plate now, Juan Ligares. And he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. Have a nice flight home, man. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. A two and two count, here's the pitch. Seared down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Shortstop number seven, Jose Reyes. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now Reyes awaits the 1 1. Right over the middle, knee high. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That will look like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. Lifted into center field. Under it is Young and he takes it for out number two. And with two away now, let's take another look at our playoff brackets. And of course, the question on everybody's mind, will we crown a champion here tonight? So striding forward now as Dribble Cabrera. He reached on a single in his first try. In there, one and two now. Look, man, he's done a nice job getting those first two outs. I mean, look, this is a good hitting team. And now you got the two hitter coming to the middle of the order. But you can limit the damage by getting those first two outs. I think he's limited the damage so far this inning. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Pedroia fields it cleanly. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. It remains 1-0. Back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian with you as Dustin Pedroia settles in to get the inning underway. Ah. 
hit on the ground toward the left. Wright's got it, and he's retired one away. The shortstop, number two, Sander Bogarts. Here's Xander Bogarts now. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Bases are empty, one man out. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this is taken in by Reyes for out number two. Now batter. Right fielder. Okay. Back. Riding in once again, Mookie Betts, reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. Gets the sign, here comes the 2-1. Hit back up the middle. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Red Sox, but they lead it 1-0. Chance, Michael Conforto. He's 0 for 1 thus far. A 1 and 1 count. Here's the pitch. And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. 1 and 2. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. One and two, here it comes. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. I like the pitch right there. Got it to chase a fastball out of the zone. I'd come back with it again. Now another one, two. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. The left fielder so with one away, let's punch up the graphic and show you the pitch speed comparison for the two starters here in the fourth inning. And both guys bringing it pretty good. A couple of matching 94s as the two top speeds thus far. now Joanna Cespedes he drew a walk his first time up even at two balls and two strikes here's the pitch swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory and he'll lunge out of the crouch to make the play for route number two the third baseman number five David Wright Digging in to try it again. David Wright reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. A wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And Moreland will put this one away, and that ends the inning. The Mets go down one, two, three. They're down one nothing. Digging in for his second at bat, Hanley Ramirez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now the 1 1 to Ramirez. No well, offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Well, it's 2 and 1 now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2 and 2. Hard hit ball to second. Taken there by Cabrera. And he's retired here, one away. The first baseman, number 18, Mitch. 
Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. And another foul ball. He'll try it again, three and two. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Now batting, center fielder. Here's Chris Young. 0 for yeah. 1 for him here in this one. Here's the one and one delivery. Sinker misses that time and it's two and one. The two and one on its way. Starts to go around here but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Into the windup. Here comes the two two pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Red Sox go down one two three. But they're on top one to nothing. has to give here's the payoff pitch still hanging with him another good swing to keep it going into the windup ready with the payoff pitch just staying alive putting together a really good at bat here the payoff pitch one more time another one sent foul Chop foul wide of first. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Once again, a 3 2. And this is fouled at the plate. That's the sixth ball he's fouled off in a row. You just keep fighting until he gives you something to hit. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. And early look at the line score here tonight as we play the top of the fifth. And boy, just one lone hit for the visitors this evening as they've been taken to task by this starter. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Travis Darno. He's 0 for 1 thus far. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Set to deal on two and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. That was a good job well, tying him up nine. inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't even Brandon in the strike zone, Nemo. but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. Into the box now, Brandon Nimmo. Here's a called strike on the curveball, one and two. Two outs, two strikes, and we're in the fifth inning, and he's got one pitch, I think, away from getting through five shutout innings. It's pretty impressive right now. One and two, here it comes. Grounded to short. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. That was really special. You know, he was down the count, and he just said, I got a battle. He battled it through and got rewarded with the base hit the other way. Yeah, 
And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left-hander and a right-hander begin to throw. In now, Juan Ligares. And here's one that barely misses off the inside corner. Two and two. Lifted in the air to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Mets leave one. They trail this one, one to nothing. Stepping up to the plate, Ruzne Castillo. 0 for 1 with a run batted in thus far. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Well, you know you've got it working on the mound when they're swinging right through it, even when you're putting it right down the middle of the strike zone. Not the greatest of game plans, though. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And foul. And here's a good sinker now, but it misses three and two. Here comes the payoff pitch. Lying toward the gap in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Great recognition. He's looking for a ball up. The breaking ball hung, and he stayed with it. When they're up high, let it fly. When they start out low, you got to let it go. Here's Brock Holt now. One for one after a single his first time up. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. One run, four hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. And a possible double play ball here for Cabrera. Reyes on to first, and they turn the double play. Hey, it's hard to do anything with a pitch like that that's below the zone. And if you do do anything with it, most of the time, this will be the result, a double play on a good pitch down in the zone. Into the box, Sandy Leon. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. Cespedes is there. And that ends the inning. Red Sox go down quietly, but they're up one to nothing. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. And Dan, he and his fellow top of the order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right hander's up and throwing. Now Reyes awaits the 1 1. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit.
Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Tell you what, his spot has been the outside pitch right there, and now we're late in the game, and he continues to pound the outside pitch, and it's really working out for him. Now another 2-2. Two -two. On the ground, up the middle. And that is going to get on through. So Reyes is aboard on a leadoff hit. So we'll see if they have something in the works here with the leadoff hitter aboard and a guy that can really handle the bat in the number two spot. As dribble Cabrera. Stepping in and ready for another shot as Dribble Cabrera, a hit in two tries so far. Come on, down. A runner at first with no outs here. To two it's balls right. and two strikes now. Wow, that was a decent breaking ball right there, but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite handed opposite bat you could see the sweep of the ball coming right into you that was a great take now we'll snap one off over to the bag and the runner will get back standing now Cabrera awaits the 2 2 and this is on the ground to short could be two Pedroia back to first and that'll take care of Cabrera it's a double play well, they got the tying run on base, but one ground ball later, and it's gone. He's going to be frustrated with himself after that. Digging in to try it again, Michael Conforto. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, and that, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. For the second time, it looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two-out rally started. Bases are empty here with two men out. At Misses, ball two. Right there is a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. So that may have been one where he was trying to get him to chase up above the zone a little bit. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Mets go down quickly. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Striding in once again, Dustin Pedroia. He's one for two in the ball game. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. That's in for a base hit and he's two for three. So it's a leadoff base hit to start the Red Sox after the inning. Tried to put him away on a changeup, but that one was up. Anytime a changeup is up, you recognize it. When it's down, very tough to hit. He just missed the spot. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Lead-off man on base, and we'll see what they have in mind strategy-wise here. Action in the Mets' bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. One there, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Took a pretty long time for the shortstop to receive the ball that time. So that gave the runner plenty of time to bear down on him and take him out. Hopefully everyone's okay down there. Stepping in now, Mookie Betts. It swung out and missed the throw. Ball's there, and he is out. Good throw. Hey, not every catcher can make that throw, so that was pretty special. Benito Santiago made throwing from his knees famous when he was playing, but it's a really tough one to pull off. 
That's a long throw without any legs underneath you. So hats off to him on that one. Two out, nobody on. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, if you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. Oh, he saw that change up really nice. He just wasn't able to keep it fair. Mind to the right side. And this is going to find the gap and roll toward the bullpen for extra bases. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. The one pitcher is absolutely dealing right now. So this is a big moment in this game. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. And there's the fourth wide one, so he's aboard on the intentional walk. That's what's called getting the treatment. Everyone knows he's a power throw oh, for the bat, so the it's all about not letting him be the guy that Moreland. beats you. Ready once again, Mitch Moreland. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Slapped hard the opposite way. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Boston strands a couple, but they hold a one-nothing lead. Welcome back to Fenway Park here in the great city of Boston. Game four is off to the seventh inning now, but before we get it started, let's check out our game summary to this point. Addison Reed is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Addison Reed. Here's your one Cespedes comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. And a neck high fastball that time. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Here's the payoff pitch. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. Reaches out for one and hits it on the ground to second. On to first and a big out to start the seventh. One gone. The third baseman, number five, David Wright. Ready for another shot now. David Wright. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the 1-1 one and one pitch. A fastball that just misses inside. One out, nobody on. A dangerous changeup left high, but called for a strike. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A called strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. The 2-2 two -two now to right. Outside and a full count, 3-2. and two. Wilmer Flores will be next. Crowd gets up for the 3-2. And Wright's going to have himself a base hit.
Ready for another chance. Wilmer Flores. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. He's set and the 1 2 pitch. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Hit out towards second. There's one. On to first. It's a double play as their woes continue. The inning is over. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. So striding in, Chris Young. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. Now batting. Left fielder. Bruce Castillo. Stepping up now. Bruce Castillo. One for two on his line so far in the game. From the windup. The one one pitch. A curveball that catches the inside corner. That's pretty good break right there, breaking all the way across the zone. Now it's a little dangerous. He gets to see that ball a long time. But man, that's a nasty snap dragon hook right there. And he's able to fight this one off, foul to the right, and the count will hold at one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Line towards center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Standing in now, Brock Holt. Slice down the left side, but foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. This is line to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. Well, they did a nice job of trying to change his eye level. Fastball up, off speed pitch down. Problem was, it just didn't work. And it looks now like a right-hander has begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. Into the box now, Sandy Leon as he swings and hits a laser to right. Conforto is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One left for the Red Sox, but they lead it one to nothing. Carson Smith been summoned now from the bullpen as he'll do so to start Number the eighth. Carson Smith. Here's the catcher Travis Darno. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Set. Here comes the 1 1. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hey. 2 1 pitch is a slider taken for a full strike two. Now the pitch. High in the air out to center field. Young is there. Makes the play one away. 
the batter number nine. Very tight ball game so far. One nothing the score as we take a look at our starter comparison and both guys have given excellent performances to this point. And here's the former first round draft choice Brandon Nimmo a hit in two tries so far. Ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. One out, nobody on. Two one pitches. A sinker swung on and missed. Two and two. It looks like he just swung right over that sinker right there. What is so hard about a sinker, you have to almost go underneath it and scoop it. If you got one of those swings that goes over the top. You're never going to hit him. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. And now pitch on the way. Swing and a liner. And that's a fair ball as it'll head for the 310 sign on the monster. The throw into second. And he will beat the throw into second as he slides in safely with a one-out double. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. In now, Juan Ligares. And there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. Well, he battled to get it to a 3 2 count, but that pitch wasn't even close. Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Young is there. He's got it, and there are two down now. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Now batting, second baseman, as dribble Cabrera. Fernando Abad trots in from now the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot Number with two on and two away. Fernando Abad. Cabrera will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. On, Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And Young will make the catch, and the inning is over. Good work there out of the Boston bullpen. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. The Red Sox lead it one to nothing. Hansel Robles is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 47, Hansel. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Two hits in three at bats for him in this one. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. That swung on and lifted down the left field line. Cespedes is there. One out. 
the shortstop. Pitching two, certainly has been Sanders on display in this Oklahoma. one. And there's the evidence of it right there. One nothing our score as there are an awful lot of zeros on that line score to this point. Digging in once again Xander Bogarts no hits in three tries so far he struck out once bases are empty one man out and this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Xander Bogarts goes right down for out number two in the bottom half. Stepping in now, Mookie Betts. And he's in front of a tight little slider that time. Two out, nobody on. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Ligares is under it. And that retires the side. Down in order go the Red Sox, but they're on top one to nothing. Welcome back to baseball on MLB Network from Boston, Mass. We're set for the final innings of this one. Craig Kimbrell comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Craig Kimbrell. Coming to the plate now, Michael Conforto. He's going to lead things off in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out, and over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Here's the one and one delivery. And that one right down Main Street. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. On the move is Young. One down. The left fielder number 52, Yoannis Cespedes. Here's the left fielder, Yoannis Cespedes. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. And he holds off there as the count goes even to the Mets left fielder. It's two and two. That's a big fastball, obviously. And we're going to see this reliever throw it a lot. He's set. Here's the two two. Now here's a swing and a ball hit well out there toward right center. He's through first and hustling for second. And that will hop over the wall now as he'll be awarded second base here. It's a ground rule double. Into the box, David Wright. And this is taken for a cold strike, and he's not in love with that call either. It's one and two now. A 
decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Hey, that's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. I tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now. Three and two. There's a ball into right center field. That's going to be a base hit. Throw comes in quickly now, so that tying run will be forced to hold on at third here, still with only one away. Wilmer Flores. So digging in now, Wilmer Flores. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. One and one, here it is. And he misses two and one. Well, you don't see this out of Craig Kimball too often. He's worked himself into a pretty thick jam. But you know, I wouldn't bet against him getting out of this either. Matt, I just think he's pitching scared. Look, he's getting hit a little bit, and now he's falling behind another hitter. Challenge somebody. He's set, and the two one pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Ready now. Two strike pitch on its way. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Mm, he's right on that breaking ball. That's pretty good timing right there, especially falling up after the fastball. The 2 2 one more time. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. That was a good job there of using the batter's aggressiveness against him. He was putting up a good fight and fouling a lot of balls off. So as a pitcher, it's a great idea to expand the zone even more and make the hitter really chase after something that's even hard to foul off. Tyler Thornburg gets the call here as he'll try and look for one out to finish this thing off. Standing in now, Travis Darno. Throw on the first, and the Red Sox are going to live the fight another day. They stave off elimination here in game four as this ball game is over. Wow, that game flew by, but that's what happens when you get a well pitched one run game. Both hurlers battled, and it's almost a shame somebody had to lose this one. One final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shutout victory. And fellas, when you're on the big stage here at the World Series, you want to make sure you bring the A game. And this man right here certainly did. He's our top player of the game. And Matty, I think you're absolutely right. Some guys just seem to thrive under the bright lights of the World Series while other guys fade into the background. He was brilliant in this one, and this is some well-earned recognition.
one run held up tonight, one nothing the final. Boston avoid elimination to force a game five in this World Series. Steven Matz takes the loss despite allowing only one unearned run. So that's a wrap here tonight. Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, thanking you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Have a great night. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Boston Red Sox. One run, seven hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For the Mets, no runs, seven hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. The pitch. And a high drive. Hit back into deep right field. Junior has just knocked the door down. Seen this.